When you're analyzing a company's financial statements, you want to have an attitude of skepticism because remember, the company has an incentive to make its earnings appear better than what they actually are. They can manipulate their earnings and they can even manipulate their cash flows. So let's take an example. Here's a company, I'm not going to tell you the name uh, until the end, but we look at their revenues here. In 1999, they did $40 billion in revenue. These numbers are in millions. So $40 billion in revenue and they went to $100 billion in 2000 okay from 1999 to 2000 40 to 100 billion dollars in revenue okay now we think okay is this company profitable they got a lot of sales but are they profitable well if we look at their net income they went from 893 million of profit to 979 million of profit so we've got a steady increase here okay 1998 99 2000 profit goes up each year almost a billion dollars in profit so a hundred billion dollar company almost a billion dollars in profit so you might be thinking well what about cash flows does this company have positive operating cash flow well if we look at the cash flow statement we see the operating cash flow here in 2000 they had almost five billion dollars in operating cash flow which was an increase from the year before so increasing profit Increasing operating cash flow. So they've got positive operating cash flow. Uh, the, so everything here appears that this is a, a great company. Okay, the cash balance went up. Okay, the revenue is more than doubled. This is Enron. Okay, this is Enron. And this is the last set of financial statements that they ever issued. Okay, big accounting scandal and fraud. Uh, long story short, overstated their revenues. When it came to the balance sheet, they've been hiding debt. So they had understated their liabilities. This is why it's so critical to be an informed user of the financial statements. Just because the company says, hey, we went from $40 billion to $100 billion in revenue. Your warning sign should be going off saying, hey, wait a minute, how many times has a company with, that did $40 billion in revenue find an additional $60 billion of new revenue in one year. How many times did this happen? Sure, it's possible. Sure, it's possible, but I'd be very skeptical when this happened, right? So how is it that they generated all this revenue, this sudden increase in revenue, okay? And thinking about when you look at the earnings number, okay, when you say, okay, we've got $979 million of profit here, there are a lot of different expenses here. We want to go through each of these and really say, okay, uh, is this is this expense been understated? Okay, maybe they've capitalized some expenses. Maybe they're treating something. That was what happened with WorldCom. Okay, WorldCom, multi-billion dollar fraud, and they literally just took expenses, line costs, okay, just a routine expense for them, capitalized it, Okay, made it an asset and depreciate over time, boosting their current period net income. So when you are analyzing a company's financial statements, you don't just want to take the earnings and take the revenues as given. You want to ask yourself, is this company engaging in any kind of aggressive revenue recognition? Is there any way that this company is understating its expenses or improperly capitalizing expenses? You want to ask yourself, is this company managing its earnings or outright committing accounting fraud when you're looking at their financial statements?